All right, so just a reminder that there are no warm-ups right after this race as we uh, welcome the uh, official party to Governor's Plate 48. They'll be getting in line here and also getting in line in behind the Sherry's Heating Service starting gate. We are ready to roll for the start of the race. I see a lot of people on the tarmac. They got their favorite spot. Let's go back upstairs to Vance Cameron. Second division of the Sire Stakes. Sal Kirky and Dylan's Mustang, J.G.'s Willie, Windermere Johnny, Keen Edge, Old Buck, top of the stretch. Here they come. They're off and pacing the inside for some leaving out. That is Dylan's Mustang to the front. Second on the outside is J.G.'s Willie on the rail. Selkirk and now gets second. J.G.'s Willie looking for and finding the spot third. Fourth is Windermere Johnny, followed by Keen Edge, and the trailer is Old Buck. So they move to the corner, settled in behind Dylan's Mustang in line to Mike McGuigan. Second at the rail, Selkirk Ian away in third. That's J.G.'s Willie. Fourth at the rail, Windermere Johnny. Then Keen Edge is fifth. Old Buck, the trailer, 28-3, open it up. They're midway around the panic turn, led by Dylan's Mustang. Two-hole ride, that belongs to Selkirk Ian, racing from third. J.G.'s Willie, fourth towards the rail. Windermere Johnny, no movement. Fifth is Keen Edge. Old Buck is still the trailer. At the midway point, Dylan's Mustang, the leader on Selkirk Ian. The half was 59 seconds flat. Third up the rail, J.G.'s Willie. Keen Edge, the first one to move. Fourth on the outside. Fifth up the rail, Windermere Johnny. Outside the trailer. That's Old Buck. They turn to the back stretch, going to three quarters. In an unchallenged, Dylan's Mustang, the leader. Second up the rail, Selkirk Ian. First up on the outside, third. Keen Edge is there. Fourth up the rail, J.G.'s Willie. Old Buck is fifth. Now Windermere Johnny trails, three quarters in one, 29 flat. They move round the turn for the final time. Sheet more than an eighth left to go. Dylan's Mustang still there. Keen Edge grinding away. Old Buck is winding up three wide on the outside third. Down the stretch they come, and Old Buck is picking them up and putting them down. Keen Edge is coming back. Keen Edge in between. Old Buck on the outside will need a win, Frodo, in a 159-2. and two. Well, the slow-mo coming up here in race number four, Atlantic Sires takes three-year-old Colts B division. You mentioned Danny Romo. When the checks are down, Romo shows up, but so did old Buck. Boy, were they ever coming flying on the outside here. What a stretch finish. Sure was. Great finish. Uh, both horses raced great. You can see a Dylan's Mustang under heavy pressure here. He was the horse that was cutting it all out, but here comes Keen Edge in the middle here, splitting horses, and you're going to see old Buck. There he is, uh, just coming into your frame here now. He's on the extreme outside, and it's the five and the six. They hit the wire together. Close at the finish. We'll wait for the official result here in the fourth. Hi, this is... Hi, this is Emily White. I Keen Edge in the photo going to the winner's circle. Keen Edge of Bay Pacing Gelding Heat 3 by Brandon's Cowboy. Off the Arts Place Jam, All American Kelly. On the Bob Skinner of Pearl and Jeff Skinner of Hammond Plains, Nova Scotia. Danny Romo training and driving the Colt Pacing to a new race win record tonight of 159 and two fives. Keen Edge in the Atlantic Sire Stakes at Trackside. The Cooler Presentation.